Hi, it's Lily again with the Florida Native Plant Society's Terminology Tuesday. Let's get started. So last week we talked about the differences between evergreen, deciduous, and semi-evergreen trees. And I used a few terms that I didn't define, and I'm gonna define those terms today. Those terms are broadleaf and conifer. Let's talk about them. So this beautiful shortleaf pine up above me, Pinus echinata, is a conifer. And that's a type of tree that falls within a classification called gymnosperms. And gymnosperm, the term just translates to naked seed. And that refers to the fact that these trees, conifers and gymnosperms, produce seed that are held within a cone, hence conifer, cone. And they produce naked seeds that are within those cones. The, co the seeds don't have fleshy fruit covering them. They also ha tend to have needles that are thin and kind of wiry, and they typically are evergreen as well. Although there are exceptions to that, like the Texodium, our native cypress. So the conifers, they don't flower. They produce cones. Their reproductive parts, their pollen and their seeds come in the form of cones. And in contrast to the, the conifers, which belong to the gymnosperms, we have the angiosperms, which are flowering plants that produce fruit. And broadleaf trees belong to that group, the angiosperms, flowering plants, including this beautiful little laurel oak here. And these um, are broadleaf trees because that term just comes from the fact that their leaves tend to be broader than the small, thin needles of conifers but um, they flower. Even though we don't think of oaks as having flowers, they do, that pollen comes from somewhere, right? And it comes from very inconspicuous flowers. They have inconspicuous flowers because they don't have to attract pollinators because they're wind pollinated. They rely on the wind to move their pollen around in the air. And that's why it ends up in all of our sinus cavities. Um, but so yes, so these are angiosperms and angiosperms evolved a lot later than the gymnosperms. But once they did evolve, they became much more diverse. They really took off. And so most of the plants that we are familiar with are angiosperms, flowering plants, because they're much more common than gymnosperms. And um, broadleaf trees tend to be deciduous as we've discussed. And they are more common in the more warm regions of the world, the more temperate areas of the world. Whereas the conifers are more common in the colder, more Northern and you know Southern, where it's colder regions of the world as well. So those are our terms for this Tuesday. Broadleaf trees with wider leaves that tend to be deciduous, but not always. And they flower because they're angiosperms and they produce fruit because they're angiosperms. And they are more common and diverse um, in general, and they're more common and diverse in the warmer regions of the world. And then we talked about the conifers, which have cones and needles, and they belong to the gymnosperm group, which is the naked seeds, no fruit, no flowers. And those plants are much older evolutionarily and they're more common in the colder regions of the world. All right, so I will see you guys next Tuesday.